The LED fixture was built around 20mm star LEDs. What we're looking at here is the T-slot mechanism used for mounting your LEDs. In the past, you'd have to drill and tap holes to mount your LEDs to fixed locations. The T-slot allows you to change your LED locations at any time during installation or upgrade. Slots on the side of the fixture allow you to slide in a piece of acrylic to protect your LEDs and your LED lenses. Let's take a look at some of the mounting and hanging features of the fixture. In the ends of the fixture, it accepts a quarter inch dowel which facilitates hanging the fixture on two ledges of an aquarium. T-slots exist on the top of the fixture which accept U-bolts, I-bolts, pendant hooks, or just plain bolts. Other mounting configurations could use pipes, metal rods, or simply long lengths of aluminum extrusion. This configuration shows how LED drivers can be mounted to the side. On the top is a control board for color mixing and dimming. In the future, you may have the option to upgrade your LED control board and LED drivers to a more integrated solution like this one. This may leave leftover holes from previous configurations. Leftover holes are not a problem. A slot on the side of the fixture allows you to slide in cosmetic plates or strips to cover them up. Included in the kit will be a 92 mm fan with cover, plastic end caps, 440 screws with nuts for mounting LEDs, an acrylic splash guard, and a cut to length piece of aluminum heatsink housing.